Hey Pisces, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is going to be your general reading for what you don't see coming. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below. Pisces, let's go ahead and get started here. Well, we've got a lot of court cards here. Well, three specifically. You start off, well, the Hermit is your overall energy, but you start off with a nine of wands. Somebody here could have their moon in Sagittarius. I feel like right off the bat, I feel like there's something here that you don't trust. With that nine of wands energy like normally that's like wounded warrior so that could definitely be why you don't trust like maybe there's a situation here that you've gotten hurt in so it's like you don't trust anything else you know it could be something like that um let's go ahead and look here it can be a card of persistence as well so maybe even though you don't trust something you're choosing to move forward with it anyways what's going on here ten of pentacles because you know it's going to bring you some kind of blessing some kind of abundance what is this here Three of Swords. Some of you are like numbing pain with finances, with work. So that's something that you want to um, maybe get a handle on here. Because I feel like that could kind of come back up. But yeah, you have the Sun card right here. For some of you, it's like there's something here that has hurt you. And you are trying to... Um, like, you're, you're not really trusting it, you know? Uh, but I feel like you're trying to push yourself into it. And I think that that's a good idea. You know, as long as it's not used as a coping mechanism, as long as you're just doing this because you know that you're supposed to be doing it and not because it's numbing some kind of pain. Um, you know, as long as you're doing it for the right reasons here, I think that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of stability. You got that Ten of Pentacles here. Some of you, it's like there could be a love situation, maybe with a Leo or a Virgo. Could be somebody here where you're like, I don't trust this, but it's not really them that you don't trust. It's like love that you don't trust. So you're just going to continue forward with this and just hope for the best. And I think that that's exactly what you get is the best here. So yeah. And it's crazy because you're in a space where maybe you don't trust. Maybe you're like, I don't want anything serious, but... You know, then you meet this person here and <laughs> things take a very serious turn. You know, you got the Ten of Pentacles. That's something that is like, tens are completion, you know, and the Pentacles talk about something that is um, secure. You know, it's set in stone, right? And you even have the King of Pentacles showing up right after that. So, yeah, um, I almost feel like some of you could be in an energy where you're like, you know what, I want love, but I don't trust love. So I'm just going to play around. And then you're playing around and things get serious. Got the hair font here. Yeah, marriage. <laughs> marriage. This could be like you could marry this Taurus or this Leo or this Scorpio here. What? Six of Wands, another card of marriage. My goodness, you guys. I definitely think this next partner is going to be it for you, okay? Ace of Cups. Wow. Yeah, a lot of love here, but also a lot of success. You know, I feel a lot of financial success here, freedom for you, Pisces. Um, especially after a really, like if you've gone through a really um, traumatic time, <laughs> like maybe you felt like your business was going to fail. A lot of people did in the last few years, or maybe you felt like um, you know, your finances, like you weren't going to be able to make ends meet. Maybe that actually happened to you, you know, for some of you, it actually happened to you. But yeah, I think there is like major recovery here. Like you're, you're gaining back everything you lost tenfold. Uh, for others of you where you didn't lose anything at all, I feel like things are looking up rather than looking down the way that you expected them to. So we're going to look at the Six of Cups next. Sun and Scorpio energy. What's going on with that Six of Cups? The Empress. Healing an issue with your mother or your father as well. Your mother's got a more gentle energy about her for some of you. Eight of Wands. Like there's something different in the way that she's communicating. I think she's scared about something here. Knight of Pentacles. Like she's trying to be cautious with something. I feel like there's a mother here or a feminine energy who has a scare. You know, there's a scare. Like some kind of worry here. So I feel like there's there's a difference in the way they're speaking. Um, even if this isn't your mother, like there's a difference in someone's tone here with you. They're more cautious. Like I feel like it. I feel like whoever this is, they could have had a very hard exterior, but they're softening. Um, so you know, just scratch the part about it being a mother. I only say that because the Empress is a mother, and the Six of Cups can be a card of like childhood or a childlike energy, right? But I do think that this person, like there's there's a person here who's softening. I'll put it like that, and they're doing this because of a scare. Like they had a really hard experience here, and now things are suddenly getting serious. Like I just keep getting that energy that things are getting serious. You got the Knight of Wands here. Sagittarius. Yeah, whoever that is, they've done a lot of reflecting on something and they realize that, um, you know, they're having a lot of realizations, honestly, and I think that's why their tune is changing, their tone is changing. What's going on with the Knight of Wands? Five of Swords, Three of Wands. Queen of Swords. Pisces, I feel like it's really... There's no better time than now to get away from head games. You have this Five of Swords. 
Normally I see this as a card of development and I feel like you have potential for that obviously. Um, but it can also be a card of like mental conflict, a lot going on in the headspace. And I think that could involve an in and out energy. Somebody who is just not not what you expected and not what you want. You know, they're what you want, but they're not doing the things you want and need in a connection, you know? Uh, so you have the Three of Wands here. I really feel like it's time to look for something else, time to send that energy away, not just because it's not giving you what you need and want, but because it's causing you trouble. If it's not causing you trouble, whatever. But you know, I think that it's causing you a lot of mental conflict. Um, it's distracting you, you know, it's distracting you from accomplishing that up there. You got the Queen of Swords here. Um, if you're not to cut that energy out, you could definitely set some boundaries with it, okay? Um, if you look at the way she's sitting, she's got the sword up there. She's not afraid to use it, you know, but she's also got the welcoming hand. So, yeah, it's like keeping someone at arm's length, all right? Because, like, having no expectations towards them being consistent with you. The tower. As long as that doesn't mess you up, you know, as long as that is, you're fine with that. The tower. Scorpio and Aries. Eight of Pentacles. Working to rebuild after a loss, okay, or after something tragic, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like that's the rebuilding, like it's happening very quickly. I feel like that's going to shock you. Six of Cups. Um, hmm, Six of Cups, interesting. What's going on with the Six of Cups here in this one? That could be the scare, you know, because after all, this is the tower, and that Six of Cups was up here, you know. It's like somebody wasn't taking something seriously. Um, you know, and I feel like you, you don't have to be in serious mode all the time, you know. I think that you're moving um, into a playful energy. It's like after you rebuild, like you do so much work here, it's time to relax, Pisces, is what I'm trying to spit out, you know. It's like you start to work to rebuild something, um, you get very comfortable, things get completed, you know, and you're able to take a break, you're able to breathe, right. That's the energy that I feel here. You're not going to stop building, you're not going to stop working, but yeah, you don't have to be all work, you know. So I think that it's about finding the balance. For those of you where that could have been your energy, this could also be that person that we were talking about up there, okay? But yeah, I feel rebuilding after a loss here and being able to breathe, being able to relax. You have the Page of Cups right here. What's going on with this Page of Cups? Could end up with a water sign here for some of you, fellow water sign, Queen of Cups, maybe a Cancer. I feel like you're leveling up intuitively as well. You could be getting um, a lot of messages in water, like while you're in water, maybe in the tub or maybe in the shower or something of that nature. Maybe while you're by water, drinking water, who knows. You got the Five of Pentacles right here. It's about something you need to leave behind. Um, or it's about, it mainly feels like a mentality that you need to leave behind, honestly. It doesn't have to be lack mentality, but I feel like it's maybe fear mentality. Or maybe you're putting bad scenarios out into the universe and they're wanting you to stop that, okay? They're reminding you that you could definitely manifest that if that's what you're putting out there. Like all this chaos, you know, um, if you're putting out a chaotic energy, like you're trying to prepare for a chaotic time, that there's no evidence of that existing. So that's something that I feel here with the Five of Pentacles energy. There's no evidence that that's existing. And um, the star cards showing up here, they want you to figure out where that comes from and heal that as well, Pisces, um, wherever that fear is within you, all right? So that's what I'm seeing here for you. Um, I do hope that it was helpful, and I hope you'll watch out for your other signs. But if this is where we part, Pisces, thank you for watching and supporting me this far, and you enjoy the rest of your month. Bye.